Hello, I'm Tiam Singh. Welcome to another E3D How To. Today we are going to talk about how to set up a template for support framework in E3D. Most of the time, when we get E3D out of the box, we tend not to be able to use the support because the structures section that they use are different from what we are used to. Today's tutorial will be about how to create a customized template for one of the support XFT08. So let's start by reviewing how we create a support in E3D. First, we have to select the tube that we want to support. Select the ancillary that we need for this case. Let's choose the U-Boat. And you can either identify the element you are supporting the tube from or you can just press Escape to take the default distances for the support. Based on the default values, the goalposts will be created to support this pipe. For this configuration, there are a few templates and you can select the steelwork template and as you select, you can see the graphics update accordingly. Our lesson today will be to create another steer template for this support configuration. To start, let's find where the templates are stored. You can see the framework templates and we are using the BS frames. So that's where the templates are stored. We can navigate to this template and we can go to the FT zone and select the support framework which is FT08. So there are now a total of 15 templates in FT08. Let's take a look at how FT08 templates look like. You can see that this is how the templates are created. So to start off, we will copy an existing template and change to the section that we require. I will now use the copy with offset command to create a new template, which is a structural element. Okay, the new structure has been created but I don't really like it because they are totally unnamed. So let's use a command line and do a better way to copy. Now let's move the command window to a suitable position and let's navigate to the structure that we want to copy and let's queue the name because we need to rename it later on so let's do the copying with the command call new structure copy previous and do use the rename to rename all the elements inside this structure let's change FT08-1 to FT08-16 so you can see that it is renamed with FT08-16 
However, our structure is not named, but we can name it easily. So, that's it. Our structure for the template is now created. Let's move it by sub 500 so that we can it doesn't overlap with the previous structure. Now let's modify the sections. Let's use the structure application. First, let's use the property to modify the bar to be an ID or a universal beam. Let's choose the size. Perhaps this is too big. Just choose 125 by 76. Let's choose the position. It is beta angle should be 0 and not 90. So that's our bar. Next, we will change the specification for the columns or what we call the V1 and V2 columns. So let's use a circular hollow section. Also from the British Standard Profile. Choose the size of the circular hollow section. And now we have to position this column to the correct position before we can continue. So let's use the move position to do that. There are two choice for the datum for moving can use the origin or use a designated point. So let's do use the origin by moving it in the X and Y directions to the correct easting and nodding. Next, we will move it down so that it will be on the correct height. And to do that, we have to actually change the datum position. So that's it, our circular hollow section is now in the correct position. Perhaps it's too small, let's make it slightly bigger. Next we have to change the other section to the same specification as the current section so we can use the painter to do that so we use current element and we select the target which is the angle bar on the other side that's it we have copied the information across to the other section so now let's move this to the correct position again We use the same trick of designated position. So let's select the top of the circular hollow section and the point where it is going to be placed. So our template is now complete and let's safe work because we don't want all our effort to be lost and next we go on to the structure and give it a description so this will be the description that you see when you're using this template let's call it my first template 
again I have a habit to save it now let's go to the support and let's use this template on a pipe that we have created previously let's zoom to the pipe Now let's choose the template that we have created previously and you can see my first template. Oh oh, but there seems to be some things that are not quite right. The circular hollow section needs to be below the I-beam. So how can we change that? Let's cancel and go back to our support framework again the issue with this is that there are some configuration that you can add to the columns and for this case it's called MDS overlap so what we want to do is that this column, the overlap should be flush. Okay, so that's what we are doing now to keep it to flush. There are quite a lot of MDS attributes that you can set to create a template to suit your, your needs. To see all the MDS UDA, you have to unhide the UDA in lexicon so with the things changed to thrust let's create the support again let's select the u book Now let's select our template, my first template. There you see the two columns are now flush nicely with the section. We hope you like this presentation. Thank you for watching. See you next time.